in this tip of the day, let's take a look at modifying geometry for page views within one CNC. So to begin with, let's head down to the lower left hand corner and let's open up our pages feature. From here, we're going to select a brand new page. So I'm going to select add page and I'm going to use the ANSI C template. We'll click OK. And now let's start adding some views. I'm going to start by adding a top view. Let's make this a wireframe view. I'm going to click add to page and I'm going to drag it right about here. Let's add a front view now. Add to page. I'm going to line it up right about there. How about a right hand view? Add to page. I'm going to place this right here. And for our last view, let's make an isometric. And why don't we make this a rendered view? So I'll select model and then add to page. All right, let's close this down. Now let's make a revision to the part geometry. To do that, we're going to click back into model space. Come down to the lower left hand corner and click on any of these arrows. That'll take us back to model space. Now I have some wireframe geometry I'm going to use to cut a hole through this part. So let's head over to the command manager, select our extrude tools. From there we're going to select extrude cut. I'm going to left click the boundary, drag it down and left click. Now that we've made a revision to the geometry, let's go back into page space. Again, come down to the lower left hand corner and click either one of these arrows. Now that we're back inside of page space, let's open up the page manager. I'm going to come down and click. And now within the dialog box, we're going to select this option called update page. Once we click this, one CNC updates the geometry in every view, the wireframe views and also our rendered view. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.